How should I prepare for finance? That's the question I'm getting these days a lot from the engineers because MSc Finance notification is out from Jamnalal Bajaj and uh, you have around about a month's time to prepare for your GDPI. The cutoffs are like 95 for the open category, 75 for the reserved category. Uh, your GDPI is going to be on 10th and 11th of June. So you guys got a really, really nice time. Now, the problem is with the engineers that, you know, what should we do? How should we study for finance? Because finance is huge. It's vast, you know, studying everything is going to be really stupidity. So you got to be very specific. You got to be very much um, up to the point. And this is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to explain it to you guys that what you should be preparing for finance and how you should be actually preparing for finance as far as your interviews is concerned. So the one thing that I can guarantee is that uh, you can do it. That's not a problem. Engineers, you can definitely do it, though it's not your field, uh, though it's not something that you have studied earlier, but I'm very sure you can do it. Why? I'll tell you a story. Yesterday I got a call from one of the students. Um, he is an engineer from VCDI and he called me up, you know, uh, last night and he said that, he said, I'm really confused. I've got around about 98 percentile plus uh, and I expect a call from JBIMS MSC Finance program. I said, yeah, you do have a good chance. And he said that, he said, I've never studied finance in my whole life. You know, I've been working in IT company from last two years and I'm really, really scared about it. So how should I go ahead and, you know, can you tell me certain books, you know? So I told him, right, you know, ki yaar, dek, bahut sare books in the market. Mein. Uh, if you have to read it, it's a problem for me. There are many books in the market. He's like, Sir, I won't do it. Tell me how many books are you reading. And I was like, dude, hold on. I know engineers, you guys are like really confident and uh, you can do it. That's not a problem. So, uh, if you look at that confidence, it's like, impossible this word is not in the dictionary. And uh, they're like, go get her attitude. Tell me, we'll do it. No tension. Nahi hai. So, that's the good thing about you guys. And that's why I'm confident enough that, you know, within months time, you can definitely crack it. You can do it. Now, I have actually bifurcated these things in two areas. Number one is going to be your non-technical, another is going to be technical. Now, listen to me very carefully. How we should be going ahead with this? So, when I talk about non-technical, try to focus more on non-technical than the technical ones. Now, there are certain people they start reading about you know balance sheets and financial statements and PNL and the valuations and all that. Don't do all that stuff. That's not going to get into your head. And even if you get it, you might get confused in it, right? So don't do that. Just stay away from all the technical stuff, right? You don't really have to learn technical because you're an engineer. Now, trust me, it can be for engineer or it can be for somebody who is a non-commerce. So this video is for everybody, like engineer, pharma, arts or science or whatever. Non-commerce predominantly. So understand this, you don't have to really get into technicalities. If you get into technicalities, you're gonna get screwed up for sure. Now, how do you do this in a different way? Now, I want you guys to kind of pick up the newspapers or get onto the Bloomberg or, you know, Mint or like Times of India, the Hindu, whatsoever. Try to hunt for all the financial happenings, Indian and international. So probably you can say that globally and internationally, whatever is happening in the world market, you should know that first. So let's talk about the macro level as far as India is concerned. So let's talk about GDP. GDP has been talked a lot these days, right? Because the elections are also coming. So everybody is now trying to understand you know, how much GDP went up in Modi area, uh, you know, how much um, inflation has been in the Modi era. So all these parameters, all these indicators, these are called as economics indicator. That's going to be your first cap. Something I wanted to start first with. So GDP, right? So understand, okay, so what is the GDP of India currently? What it was in 2014 when we got a new government, what it is right now. After that, try and understand how GDP uh, helps country to grow. Why it's so important? What is the significance of GDP? Why do people always talk about GDP? That is something you can learn a bit, right? So you know GDP numbers now, then you move ahead understanding the importance of GDP, that why people talk about it. And then you move towards the definition of GDP. Okay, so this is the definition. Now what's going to happen is, you understood the GDP number, that's a GK. You understood the importance of GDP, that's kind of a basic background. And then we move ahead with the definition, which is a technical term actually. There is a good synergy which will help you to understand and then you can connect ki achha bhai chalo. Explanation mujhe pata tha, I understood the basic because of basics I understood definition very well. So that's what you're gonna do. Let's talk about inflation. So we talk about inflation right which is basically mahengai right. So we talk about inflation. So understand what is inflation, why inflation is important, how it helps you. We all know what is inflation and why it's important right. We all know that and from there you can move towards uh, the definition of inflation, the percentage of inflation, you know, what it was uh, 2014, what it's now, you know, how it's an important indicator of uh, economics and so and so for economy, whatever, right? You can do that. 
Later on, you can talk about export import. You know how India is good as far as the export is concerned, as far as import is concerned. Uh, why do we import a lot of uh, you know products from the international market? So imports are higher, export are lower. What is the significance or what is the importance of uh, you know ha not having export or not having imports a lot? So uh, this imbalance will create what kind of problems? Then you talk about exim of India. Then you move towards forex. Then you step by step, step by step unfold these things, right? So what happens here is that you are learning about exim, which is export import. You understood what is India's numbers of export import. Then you understand the significance, right? So if you look at, um, you know, if import is higher and export is lower, it's a trade deficit, right? It's a trade deficit, and absolutely right. Logically, if you see, guys, you are importing more, you mean you are paying more, right? And your export is less, you mean your earning is less. It means that you are paying a lot, and it means that you are paying a lot, and you are actually earning less. So absolutely, as a country, it's a problem. Simple thing is, if you talk about household also, right? If in household there is more expenditure, and if there is income less, then the problem is not going to be solved. So that's how I want you guys to start learning. So take newspapers first, understand what's happening in the market, and later on you move. To the uh, technical front. Now let's talk about U.S. and China and Indian relationship. Now there are trade war that's happening, right? Uh, there has been a lot talked about trade war. So you need to understand, you know, why this trade war is in in place, right? Um, how it's going to impact global economy? How it's going to impact Indian economy? So and so forth. So try to get newspaper first in hand. Try to get current affairs in hand, and then you can move towards inflation. Now let's talk about something called a Jet Airways ka story. Now Jet Airways story, if you want to read as an engineer or a non-commerce student, it might be a bummer to you because it, it's, it's something that you have never you know studied or it's like critically finance stuff, right? Now understand these things in layman's language. Now if you really want to study, if you start reading the entire chapter of uh, you know Jet Airways, you you might get confused. Now how do you kind of you know learn it in a very logical way? Now I'll take a minute's time and I'll explain that to you. So I'll give you. A heads up about Jet Airways. So what happened when the company started? Um, it was the first company in India uh, which actually became the premier, uh, you know, uh, uh, aviation uh, company uh, in India. So that's where they started making more money. As and when they started making more money, they've got huge cash available. So a couple of years back, they went for an acquisition. So they bought a company in the same industry. So to buy a company, they had to do cash burn. Now, cash burn is a technical concept. It's a financial concept. Now, what do you mean by cash burn? Yar, paisa dena pada. Because kisi company ko acquire kya hai, to paisa to dena padega. So they had a cash burn. Now, when they had a cash burn, now they went for the acquisition. They gave a lot of cash. So, jo bhi savings the company ke pas, they utilized it for buying a company. Along with that, they took huge amount of debt to buy that company. So, paisa bhi chala gaya, karza bhi ban gaya. Now, what happened later on in the international economy? The prices of oil started moving up. The prices of all these things started moving up because of which the cost of jet airways went up. The fuel and all that cost started moving up. So that's number two. Number three, if you look at other players in the market like you know SpiceJet, Indigo, so and so forth, like India is a very much price sensitive uh, country or price sensitive economy, right? So what happens? People actually tend to book those tickets which has lesser price. So there is a price war now. It's called as a red ocean strategy. In my classroom, I'm doing all these things. We we'll do that in the class. So according to the red ocean strategy, there is a price war. So what happened was already you had cash burn. Then you took the debt. Now the price of oil and everything is going up. Now you have to beat your competition because see, you need to take care of the occupancy also. If you are flying with only 10 or 20 passengers, then it's a loss for a company as far as the aviation industry is concerned. So you have to kind of fill all the seats. So what did a uh, jet airways do? They actually reduced their prices. So price come कर दिया, price come करने की वजह से अभी क्या हुआ? पहले जो profit margin था, पहले जो profit margin था, वो अभी कम हो गया. तो यार यहाँ पे problem है. पैसा पहले ज़्यादा दिया acquisition के लिए, फिर कर्ज़ा लिया, फिर उसके बाद आपकी income कम हो गई. Now you're in a big trouble. You don't have liquidity. Liquidity मतलब you don't have cash, right? So that's the main problem. And that's where we see today that you know Jet Airways is facing problems. So whenever you learn these technical concepts of finance, try to learn it in a logical way. Being a non-commerce guy. Do not get into debit, credit, and all the stuff. Don't study accounting. Don't pick up any finance ka book. Don't do any goddamn thing out there. Just focus on current affairs and try to do the concept which are attached with your current affairs. And anyway, if you really want to learn a lot, you can click the link above in the description. These are all the finance videos. These are all free YouTube videos made by me. Uh, you can actually watch them. You can learn good stuff from them. I will be making couple of more videos. But yeah, the only request that I want to make for engine is that. एक महीना है सर आपके पास बहुत सारी चीजें आप कर सकते हो ट्रस्ट में आपका इंटरव्यू पांच मिनट चलेगा फाइन आपका इंटरव्यू पांच मिनट चलेगा पांच मिनट में अगर इफ यू आर माय स्टूडेंट आई कैन टेल यू हाउ टू टर्न द टेबल अराउंड 
what are the things that you should be talking in the interview so that being an engineer being a non commerce bachcha you can actually avoid those technical questions last year i have couple of students they are engineer they made it to msc finance and they were not asked even a single technical questions from finance field so it's an art basically that you need to put across things on the table so that you avoid these technical questions now even if you are getting technical questions if you are prepared you'll be able to kind of knock them off the batches in mumbai pune and online so if you are interested to join them you can join them i'll be covering technical uh, stuff of finance i'll be covering gd skills pi skills mock gd mock pi all that stuff right so if you're interested you can call on the numbers below and you can join me in mumbai pune or uh, online and if you want to study on your own just stay tuned to my channel uh, watch the videos that i'm going to post eventually these are all finance videos and if you have any concern any issues you can get in touch with me but for one month try to study hard trust me it's a big ticket it's a big ticket now there are people still confused कॉल आएगा कॉल नहीं आएगा पंद्रह मई को आपकी कॉल आने वाली मेरे ख्याल से पंद्रह मई से लास्ट डेट उसके बाद आपकी कॉल आ जाएगी आई एम टेलिंग यू बहुत सारे बच्चा लोग ऐसे हैं मार्केट में जो फॉर्म भरेंगे बट फिर भी कुछ नहीं पढ़ेंगे बिकॉज डर ये बात का है कि भाई कॉल आएगा कि नहीं आएगा और जब कॉल आएगा उनको ऑल ऑफ अ सडन उनके पास टाइम नहीं होगा प्रिपरेशन करने के लिए सो so, अगर आप मेरे बच्चे हो अगर आप मेरे स्टूडेंट हो माई एटीट्यूड इज राइट आई केयर डैम अबाउट मेरा कॉल आएगा कि नहीं आएगा नाइनटी के ऊपर मेरे को मिला है मैं फीस भर देगा आई वॉन्ट पिक अप दोस्त थिंग्स एंड आई वॉन्ट स्टार्ट स्टडिंग ऑन माई फाइनेंस का चीज दैट इट जो बोला है करंट अफेयर्स कंसेप्ट जो भी ये वीडियोस देखो बस स्टार्ट बकलिंग अप इट्स अ लास्ट चांस बट इज द बिगेस्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट सो ट्राई टू यूटिलाइज इट इफ यू नीड एनी हेल्प मोस्ट वेलकम गेट इन टच विद मी एंड स्टे ट्यून टू माय चैनल एंड स्टे ट्यून टू कैट टू सीईटी मेंटर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम गुड लक